two, one, ignition. And liftoff. Liftoff of Falcon Heavy with Europa Clipper. Unveiling the mysteries of an enormous ocean lurking beneath the icy crust of Jupiter's moon, Europa. We are going to dive deep into this one. The Europa Clipper spacecraft today starting its very long voyage into our own solar system, seeking to answer the age old question. Could there be life outside of this anchor desk? <laughs> yes, definitely outside of this one and Earth too. I, Probably much more intelligent life outside of the <laughs> anchor desk. I am a firm yes on that, but yes. we have an expert. To, and we're going to have to wait a long time for that question when it comes yeah. to this probe. It's right. going to take about five and a half years mm -hmm. to reach Jupiter. Yeah, that's right. Scientists think that uh, one of Jupiter's moons, Europa, of course, has a vast ocean, liquid water underneath its icy surface. And well, where there's water, building blocks of life. Yeah. All right, so we got to talk to the experts to get more insight from the Adler Planetarium's Director of Public Observing. We love that title. Right. Michelle Nichols is here. Welcome to the streaming show on this marvelous Monday. What is the goal of NASA's mission today, Michelle? So the Europa Clipper mission, uh, its goal is to see if Jupiter's moon Europa has the conditions for life to exist. It's not gonna search for life directly. We need to answer the question first, could it host life? So we wanna learn all about this really amazing ocean moon uh, in order to try to understand that question. What do we know right now about Jupiter's moon Europa? So it's one of the four moons that Galileo originally saw through his telescope. So we call it a Galilean moon. Hmm. Um, it is one of the four largest moons of Jupiter. It is covered in an icy crust. And below, be, beneath that crust is very, very likely a salty ocean, uh, possibly with about twice as much water as Earth has. So already you go wow that's pretty intriguing because we know life needs water to exist here could life exist there but there's a lot more questions we want to answer besides that so uh it's a really intriguing place well there's a there's a lot of question of course because you've got uh, a very high radiation environment on jupiter uh being such a big planet having such a big magnetic field there are challenges that that would go against life being there now if nasa does find favorable conditions First of all, what does that tell us, uh, given what we know about life as it exists on Earth? Well, first off, if, if, we, if we find the conditions for life, we can then say, gosh, the, the conditions for life may exist elsewhere in the solar system as well, maybe in some, some areas that it might expand our, our, the places we might want to look, because it wouldn't just be places like Earth or places like Mars. Um, so life could exist in much harsher conditions. Um, but the radiation environment is a really interesting thing. They, they not only have to worry about what is the radiation environment at the moon, uh, at Europa, what is it like for the spacecraft mm -hmm. too? Because they have to protect it um, as much as possible. So it's a, it's, a, it's a tough mission to do, but you got the right folks doing it, that's for sure. So Michelle, I went to college with you know a degree in biology and psychology. So I studied bio and chemistry, and they said this is how this project started. This is how biochemistry started with a project like this. But then I heard some expert scientists say today that this is all about shenanigans and silly putty. But <laughs> the real question, Michelle, is how do you really find life 10 miles deep in frozen water? Yeah, the, the answer is you don't. What, what you do is you look for conditions. So how salty is the ocean? What temperature is it at? It's obviously above freezing because it's liquid water. Um, but how thick is that water? Uh, what can we tell about the ground surface below the ice? Can the ground penetrating radar get, get down that far and tell us what, what that surface level is like? Um, how much is this, is this ice changing and moving over time? There's a whole lot of stuff we can learn. And and, and figuring out what other materials are there. Um, so there's a lot of stuff we can learn uh, even before we ever would ask the question, 
is life here that, that's that's for further down the road um but there's a whole lot of whole lot of really interesting yeah I think, <laughs> a whole lot of interesting science to know, go on yeah there's so, so many tv yeah. show uh themes that might be going through my head right now it is <laughs> and michelle i think we learned our lesson about trying to answer that question directly of course with missions in the past to mars you, you know which ones i'm talking about is it a fossil is it not a fossil type oh. stuff um and and the question is how are we going to use this space craft to seek out if the conditions are right because you're right you have to you have to edit the orbit a little bit so what's it going to be on doing on those close passes to uh, Europa so it has a suite of nine instruments and those nine instruments are going to tell you any everything from the magnetic field to the to the materials to the uh, uh, the, the composition of all that stuff. There's there's a lot of stuff that they're going to be able to tell with all of these cameras and things that are all uh, pointing in different directions. It will even be able to capture material that are com that's coming out of plumes, mm. coming out of the ice, and and uh, as they like to say, sniff that stuff directly. Um, so we're going to learn a lot. And the uh, and basically, you want to answer these questions before you ever get to does life exist? Because you, you, I know people are saying, but can't we just answer, are there aliens there? We, we <laughs> got to answer all this stuff first. Um, so the, the suite of instruments will, as the, as they do flybys past the moon 49 times, um, they'll be able to get a whole lot of data over the course of three years. Um, and we'll see if it might be able to last a little longer than that. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's it's going to be a harsh environment, but the spacecraft is built to withstand it. Well, you now, Cheryl, before you ask this question, uh -oh. all three of us are going to answer it, <laughs> and it's a very simple yes or no. Okay. Oh, what's the question? All right. So I know it's uh, all right. So we we have been talking amongst ourselves. Rob, I think you should use him at yes. any assistant. Okay. The you question you're assistant. my scientist friend here. <laughs> right. Do you think, Michelle, there is life out there? I get asked this question all the time. Hmm. I personally okay. think life exists elsewhere. Yes. Um, yes. I do not think that life has, uh, for life from elsewhere has visited here. I have not <laughs> oh. seen the compelling evidence to support that. Okay. You figure with 8 billion cameras that we've got on this planet <laughs> and we don't get more than just this shaky video. Right. Anyway, um, uh, just do the math. All the stars that are out there, all the planets that are out there, mm -hmm. the galaxies, all that stuff. There's got to be life okay. somewhere. Of course. Um, but I, I, I personally think life exists. You think so too? Yes. Without a doubt. So, uh, but I will go doubt. past yeah. her and, and I believe that, it, that they it have has, visited. Has been here. Oh, right. really? I mean, so, what do you think? July 4th, the movie, an alien? Oh, Independence, oh, Independence Day. Day. All, right. <laughs> all right. I'm going to go one no, step no. before we got to let her go. And then uh, oh. that we are, well, in fact, Extraterrestrial. Oh, gee. Okay. Well, yeah. Oh, you think like panspermia e type deal? Yeah. Yeah. No, okay. microorganisms crashed into the Earth yeah. as asteroids a gajillion years ago. And right. That's how we it's recreate. All I humans were formed from water, allegedly. I you will say, though, the Michelle, <laughs> and I completely <laughs> agree with this, too. Um, but, you know, the high level rebuttal is that there's a great <laughs> filter and that we're the only ones who made it through. Um, are you, so you're an optimist, is what you're telling me, right? Basically, you figure maybe maybe there isn't an intelligent life form out there like us, yeah. but it does. Okay. That is, we are not the only type right. of life right. that exists. Exactly. It could be bacteria, mm -hmm. could oh, be okay. mosses or whatever. Yeah, right, um, right. Okay. Yeah. You think of all the stuff that's on this planet. Most of it is bacteria, <laughs> and most of it is little stuff. Well, so that kind of life, um, I would think that there, there's got to be some somewhere. You got to possibly think, within our own solar system. And plus, with the stuff that we found on asteroids, where like you know the amino acids are are even on asteroids floating around, like the building blocks are everywhere. Yeah. Uh, yep. Michelle Nichols, Adler, we got to let you go. Uh, we love you. You've been on this yes, program before. Thank you. Our family. Uh, this one was one of our longer <laughs> interviews, uh, and I'm thrilled about. Love that it. Uh, because Cheryl is now a space junkie. Right, like because yes. yeah. Rob has gotten me into it. We'll see so. in five and a half years when, when, when we I get know. there. I know, 101.8 uh, billion it. miles later. Yeah, yeah. right. Uh, All right. We have, we've taken most of your <laughs> I don't care. Time. Okay. I don't care. care. Yes. But, but you did not answer the question. Oh, I did. You did. You yeah. said yes. Oh, yeah. So. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, definitely. Yeah. We're not alone because, you know, we are formed from liquid. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, most, big, what is the most in our body? Right. Water. Water. Big yeah. space yeah. out there. Okay. Yeah. Space. Thank you, Michelle. That was so much fun. Tim, that might yeah, have been the longest you, web interview ever. We loved it. 